Peter will be under serious attack after he did these two things in court yesterday. As we all know, the tribunal hearing, the first tribunal hearing, took place yesterday on the 8th of uh, May 2023. It has also been adjourned till Wednesday, that is tomorrow. I'm here to give you all the details, but for now, let's talk about those two shocking things that Peter Obi did in court yesterday, you know, that made him went viral. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just know that you are missing. How can you be on YouTube and you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria? Please run to the subscribe button and click on it. Join this amazing community we have here. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Peter will be under serious fire after he did two shocking things in court. See what happened. The suits challenging the victory of APC's Ola Ahmed Tinubu at the February 25th presidential election finally kicked off and it was not without its own drama and controversy. Nigerians have been looking forward to the start of the petitions challenging the victory of the nation's president-elect ever since it was announced by INEC as the winner of the 2023 presidential election under controversial circumstances. Peter Obi was physically present as the presidential election petition tribunal finally sat to hear the petitions challenging the 2023 presidential election victory of Bola Ahmed Tenobo. But the former Anambra State Governor has now trended for the wrong reasons after his appearance in court. Peter will be caught sleeping in court. Bayo Nonuga, who is the Director of Media and Publicity of the Tenobo Shetima Presidential Campaign Council, would definitely disclose how the Labour Party presidential candidate was caught sleeping in court during the hearing of his petition against President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He took to his official Twitter handle to write that Peter will be caught sleeping in court at the hearing of his petition against President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu in Abuja. The man is already getting tired, I suspect. The post would elicit a variety of reactions with one person writing that, How old are you again? I need to look for your kids and grandkids because I can't believe they have a father and grandfather that acts like a playground bully. What a monumental shame. Now this is referring to, this is referring to um, the person who posted these by your nonuga on social media. A second person added that no sleep for the wicked if he can sleep then he has peace plus he has done his part now it's time for his lawyers to do theirs it's called taking the back seat and trusting the process that's if he was even sleeping hmm it will be under courtes and shake debate during his appearance in court Peter Obi would go around greeting lawyers who many believe are part of the team representing him in the suit challenging the victory of Bola Tinubu at the 2023 presidential election polls. One thing would catch the attention of some eagle-eyed Nigerians, leading them to refer to Peter Obi as a cultist. The post would elicit various reactions with one person writing that instead of Agbado supporters to go learn Photoshop well, then go they get high. The end result is rubbish looking photo editing. So you telling me the lawyer 
So you are telling me the lawyer rub white powder for knuckles. It must be a side also babalawo for na head. A second person added that ignorance who says a handshake must come in one form from a religious warmonger to now a cultist, obi eaters, obi don't fight dirty, get alive. What do you all think about this? Share your comments in the comment section. Share this video with your friends and family. Like this video as well. Let me just share my two cents. What I would just say is, <clears throat> if this particular thing were to have happened to Bola Tinobu, like, I think I would be getting <laughs> a different reaction from, you know, the supporters of Peter Obi. Although these candidates are human, like, they've really worked so hard. You, you, like... If they are human, they can sleep in court. Like, I don't think that's a big deal. But Latinobu also did that, you know, during his campaign where, you know, that woman who crossed over to PDP said during the meeting that she had with him, he was sleeping all through. And trust me, everybody had a field day, you know, with most people saying that uh, Tinobu is not well, Tinobu is sick. I am just being real here. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's let's put this two on a scale and just wait. You know, let's just be let's 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 not be uh what's it called now? What's the English? Let's just be fair, so to speak. That's what I'm trying to say. No matter who is concerned, these candidates can be tired. They are human beings, like they are not machines, they have really worked hard. You know, on this case, and <laughs> Peter Obi just fell asleep because he was tired. I think that's the most like logical explanation and the simplest one as that. But let me have your thoughts, guys, in the comment section. Like I said, pertaining to the handshake as well, ah, I don't know. It's only cultists that can answer this, you know, this question here because I don't know how cultists do their handshake. If you know how courtes do the handshake and you see that this one is is similar, the way it shakes the lawyer is similar, let me know in the comment section. Oh, I cannot answer that for real. Thank you very much, guys, for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.